I think it's great that Dickinson ISD is launching forward. I believe it's a, a rare privilege. I can think of many other people in the Dickinson community that if I were in the business of uh, putting names on schools, I'd put Dr. Gilruth's number one, I'd put Max Vajay number two. I got Dick Coors. There are many people in that community who are principal contributors to the space program. In high school, my favorite subject was physics because physics basically taught me how things work. It gave me a feeling I could look at something and say, hey, I can figure out how that thing works and what does and what it fits into, what it's useful for. And I believe this is real, really the key in uh, Dickinson uh, Junior High School to teach the students to ask the questions. How does science, how does engineering, how does technology and how does math? fit into my growth as a student that provides the foundation for continued growth as an adult. When we first moved into Houston, we lived in South Houston, but unfortunately our house was uh, too small because we had uh, three kids when we moved there and very shortly thereafter it was four, five, and six. So we looked for a place where kids could grow. They would feel free. Uh, we didn't want to have the, uh, the big city uh, basically stymie their growth. We wanted them to, to basically learn about themselves and learn about their community, learn about the family. And uh, Dickinson was a, at the selection. Uh, myself and many of the controllers came here. I believe that to a great extent we just wanted to get away from the intensity of the work that we're doing. And I believe that Dickinson provided that opportunity where we could grow as a community, we could, could, we could contribute to the community, we could find our churches there. We basically would set up our life there. Basically, the wife and I intend to remain in Dickinson for the rest of our lives. I believe it's important to grow in both depth and breadth. Uh, you want to volunteer to get experiences. You want to volunteer to go into different classes. You want to accept some risk to move into an area where you really may not be completely knowledgeable. You may not be fully understanding of that. And that is how you're gonna grow. You're gonna grow by moving into areas where you're uncomfortable. When I talk to young people, I give them five words. I say dream, aim high, and never surrender. Dream is basically what is your goal in life? What do you want to do? What is What are you best at? What inspires you to continue going further? And as you get closer to that goal, you want to keep moving it out so you're never satisfied with how you are and what you're doing. And then when you have troubles, and you always will have some troubles, there are going to be setbacks. There are going to be times when you say, is it really worth it? That's when you got to accept the fact that you should never surrender on your dream. <laughs> okay.